Now we come to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make their way over to the performance area, I'll read out this week's topics and then we'll see what our panellists can come up with. Okay, here we go. The first subject is commercials that never made it to air. Mr. Muscle loves the jobs you hate, apart from blowjobs. <laughs> he doesn't do blowjobs. I used to wash with Dove, but the feathers came off and the beak was scratching. <laughs> Megabus, the only bus company endorsed by Dara O'Brien. <laughs> Links for when you want to smell like a virgin. <laughs> Abby has strong teeth, boundless energy and a shiny coat. She's the best prostitute in London. <laughs> Barocca, start the day the right way with luminous piss. <laughs> There's now a free gift at the bottom of every box of Frosties. Type 2 diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Tom's rice, like Uncle Ben's, but a bit more racist. <laughs> <laughs> Crack-flavoured Pringles. Once you pop, you really can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been in an accident that wasn't your fault? Bad luck! <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear in hospital. Welcome to the Jeremy Hunt wing. <laughs> <laughs> of course the influence of private companies hasn't affected the NHS. Just ask my colleague, Dr Pepper. <laughs> The good news is, your father is comfortable. In fact, I've been sitting on him all morning. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's call the time of death at 4.15. He's not dead yet, but it's a Friday, and if we leave now, we can beat the traffic. <laughs> mm -hmm. For goodness sake, Mr Wallace, please take your penis out of there. That's not what organ donor means. <laughs> Now, we're going to need to put you to sleep, so I've got two tickets to see Dara O'Brien live in Belgium. <laughs> We've given your wife gas and air, and by that I mean I farted and the nurse opened a window. <laughs> Unlikely letters to TV channels. Dear National Geographic Channel, when will the Nazis be building some more megastructures? I can't wait for Series 2. <laughs> Dear Boomerang TV, why does my letter keep coming back? <laughs> Dear Dave, you repeat Mock the Week so often, I swear I've seen Holly Walsh do this joke before. <laughs> Dear History Channel, I really enjoyed your documentary about what panel shows were like 15 years ago. Oh, no, wait, no, I'm watching Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Dear CBeebies, I have three BBs, and my BBs love to watch CBeebies. <laughs> from their DD. <laughs> Dear History Channel, the past is the past, mate. You've got to let it go. <laughs> Dear BBC, your documentary on binge drinking really ruined my pre-drinks. <laughs> Dear Dave, you repeat Mock the Week so often, <laughs> I swear I've already seen Holly do this joke. <laughs> Dear Babe Station, what are you doing to mark the forthcoming centenary of women's suffrage? <laughs> OK, the next topic is things you wouldn't hear in a blockbuster movie. Tell me more, tell me more, did you... Actually, don't tell us, because we at the T-Birds don't do slut-shaming. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Have you seen? Spider-Man, he's been shot to pieces. He's all over the web. <laughs> <laughs> we have to save the president. Or, depending on how the election goes, we have to save everybody from the president. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> He's already beaten Superman. Now it's time for his toughest challenge. Batman versus Rain Man. <laughs> I'll be back. And if you're not in this time, you'll have to pick it up from the depot. <laughs> It's good news and bad news, Captain. We can't find Spock, but we have found Nemo and someone thinks they spotted Private Ryan. <laughs> You're struggling with those chopsticks? Use the full cloak. <laughs> I'm Freddy. Welcome to Elm Street. The nightmare? Trying to find affordable housing. Mwah! <laughs> <laughs> I will kill Bill, or de depending on what it goes by, Killiam William. <laughs> I'm sorry, James, we have to include the international dialing code. You are now 00447. <laughs> I'm not going to sponsor you on another 5K run, Forrest. <laughs> Stands for xylophone, and the xylophone men don't take shit from nobody. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a kids' TV show. <laughs> Thunderbirds are go is what I shout at orgasm. <laughs> No, Lala, I'm afraid you're not Teletubby, you're telly obese, and if you're not careful, you'll get telediabetes. <laughs> Don't ask your parents' permission before you phone. Those dicks will only say no. <laughs> <laughs> and on today's Horrible Histories, a 1970s episode of Top of the Pops. <laughs> Well, if you're not having an affair, whose square pants are these? <laughs> Johnny's dad said, do Eurovision. So Johnny left school and entered the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Daddy Bear said, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And Mummy Bear said, it was probably your whore, Linda. <laughs> Yodel delivery driver Pat. Yodel delivery driver Pat. <laughs> He's thrown your parcel in a hedge. <laughs> and now it's time for our resident band of children violinists. Please welcome the Kitty Fiddlers. <laughs> And just remember, your Blue Peter badge can get you in free at over 200 strip clubs and lap dancing establishments. <laughs> Look, Iggle Piggle, it's the Ninky Nonk. Oh, the Ninky... <sighs> <laughs> Olivier said my Hamlet made him weep like a little girl. <laughs> The next topic is on Lightning to Hear at Euro 2016. <laughs> Wayne Rooney's come out covered in Formica. I think the manager's told them to play as a unit. <laughs> <laughs> Rooney is playing in the pocket. Oh, that's unpleasant. <laughs> And England go through on penalties! <laughs> and the French mascot is seven-year-old Lucien Dubois from Nice, showing us all how to smoke a cigarette with real panache there. <laughs> and the crowd invade the pitch and the French officials have 
surrendered. <laughs> oh, did that cross the line? Seemed a bit racist to me. <laughs> Well, next for us, it's Iceland, Turkey. And when that's defrosted, it's England, Slovakia. <laughs> and Russia have gone for a 4 3 3 7 8 10 1 9 16 formation. We're never going to get out of this alley. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's look at the stats in the first half. I was responsible for 90% of the cliches. And that really is. The icing on the cake. <laughs> there goes Ronaldo down the wing, doing what he did a minute ago, and he's slightly slower. This is the replays now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goal! Well, they say, cometh the hour, cometh the man, and I have. I'm just off to get some more pants. <laughs> Unlikely film trailers. <laughs> Referendum two. We'll keep doing it until we get the result we like. <laughs> From the director of Batman vs Superman, a heartfelt letter of apology for wasting our time. <laughs> <laughs> Tantric sex, the movie. Not coming soon. <laughs> The new all-female Ghostbusters. The CGI looks amazing because we saved 30% on actors' wages. <laughs> <laughs> Sepp Blatter and Donald Trump star in Despicable. Me too. <laughs> Thanks to an unfortunate typo, it's the most one-sided action film ever. Alan versus Predator. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you thought the service couldn't be any more appalling, Southern Rail present Snakes on a Train. <laughs> the Avengers go to prison. They should have asked the age of Ultron. <laughs> One man stands alone. It's Labour, the film. <laughs> In a land where nothing costs more than a pound. It's pound land. <laughs> Referendum four. Now Ant wants to leave deck. <laughs> Michael Gove is David Cameron's best buddy in Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Mate. <laughs> Harrison Ford is 73 and he's back in Indiana Jones and the Tricky Patch of Ice outside the post office. <laughs> in a world where they only sell PCs. It's PC world. <laughs> Very good. OK, next topic. Unlikely things to hear on a makeover show. Mrs Patterson says her downstairs is a little damp. Don't worry, Alan Titchmarsh has that effect on a lot of women, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> when Susan approached us, she was overweight, she had terrible hair, and her self-esteem was at rock bottom. But now, thanks to our team, she's got a new kitchen. <laughs> This bathroom really is looking exquisite now. We have laid Moroccan tiles on the floor. We've used accentuating tones on the walls. And over here, we've put a brand new shitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's taken a lot of work, a lot of sawing and a lot of drilling. But finally, the shed is finished. And Jeff has somewhere quiet to masturbate in. <laughs> Oh, wow, she looked hideous before, didn't she? Oh, that's after, sorry. 
So we just did a spruce up, really. You know, we dusted, got rid of the cobweb, sorted out the curtains downstairs, and uh, yeah, I probably shag her now. <laughs> Well, I mean, I absolutely love it. I love the wallpaper. I love the way you've knocked through. It's just one thing. I actually live next door. <laughs> <laughs> I showed this couple from Sussex a delightful little semi earlier and said, if they touch it, I'll do up their house. <laughs> What your hair needs is volume and lots of body. So here's Brian Blessed. <laughs> Why did you give me more teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Rejected exam questions. <laughs> if Maria from Russia combines ephedrine with oxycotin, will she win her next tennis match? <laughs> Was Elizabeth the first? No? Then who did you lose your virginity to? <laughs> if I have two balls in this hand and two balls in this hand, how am I going to explain this to the Board of Governors? <laughs> what is the role Adolf Hitler and the Nazis played in keeping the History Channel on the air? <laughs> If it takes John's girlfriend 14 minutes to walk to the train station, then why are we still getting ready? <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following is a quote by Winston Churchill? A. We will fight them on the beaches. B. God damn, I love these peaches. C. <laughs> 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 British citizenship test, question one. Who is the leader of the Conservative Party? <laughs> and now? <laughs> How about now? <laughs> if a man can make £400,000 a year as an estate agent, why is he wasting his life setting exam questions while locked in a loveless marriage? <laughs> In less than 200 words, please describe your plan for Brexit. Please, anything will do. Literally anything. <laughs> Which of the following is a quote by Winston Churchill? A. We will fight them on the beaches. B. God damn, I love these peaches. So I can't do that. It doesn't make me laugh so much. I love God damn, I love these peaches so much. <laughs> Predict the next number in this sequence. 1966. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following is a famous fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next topic is. Things you wouldn't hear on a train. The next station will be Wimbledon, change here for Overground, Underground, and Wombling Free. <laughs> The next stop for this train will be Waterloo. It's not meant to be, but the brakes have failed. <laughs> yeah, I just want to tell you, I'm on the train. No, just everyone else is doing it. Thought I'd join in. <laughs> Hello, this is your driver speaking. Choo choo! <laughs> Could the owner of a missing xylophone please make their way to the guard's <laughs> carriage? This is an announcement for the passengers who are complaining that this service is late. Can I just point out that as this is Southern Rail, you're lucky to be on a fucking train at all. <laughs> <laughs> Bing bong. This is the bullet train service to Tucky. Oh, we're here. Everyone off. <laughs> Would the driver please contact the guard? We're doing 120, you don't seem to be in the cab, mate. <laughs> Unlikely things for a sports commentator to say. <laughs> and there you have it, Andy Murray has won his second Wimbledon. Thank you for watching. I'm Tim Henman, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Thank you.
Let's see what the batsman does with this ball. He's nicked it. Give us back our ball. <laughs> Well, he's really got on the end of that. He has hit that ball a long way, long, long, long way back into the crowd. That is, that is dreadful snooker. <laughs> <laughs> so you join us here for the opening ceremony of Rio 2016, and the stadium is rocking, mainly because they haven't finished building it yet. <laughs> This Grand Prix has been cancelled, but I've managed to catch a wasp under this paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> and with one lap to go, the pacemaker drops out. Where the fuck is my pacemaker? <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Things you wouldn't read in a romantic novel. <laughs> they fell back onto the bed, panting. He turned to George and said, I will be with you whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled his hair and slapped him roughly. But still, Jeremy Corbyn wouldn't resign. <laughs> He opened an eye. She thought she might love him. He opened another eye. She thought she did love him. He opened another eye. She was put right off. <laughs> she looked into his eyes and said, this is not going to work out. I'm from a wealthy family and you're a donkey. <laughs> what do I love about you? Your eyes, your hair, your Irish passport. <laughs> Kim turned to Andy and said, yes, of course I will. Andy said, thank you for making me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a TV detective show. These dots, these dashes, what do they mean, Inspector? Morse? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Poirot, but Brexit means Brexit, sir. <laughs> Welcome to Midsummer, Officer Patel. <laughs> <laughs> On entering the house, we found a feline jammed into a Xerox machine. We think it was a copycat crime. <laughs> Welcome to Baker Street, madam. It seems you came from Seven Oaks via Waterloo and you bought those shoes in Selfridges. And you are here because you fear someone is stalking you. <laughs> I think going undercover at the strip joint is a good idea. But is it really your thing, Miss Marple? <laughs> <laughs> there is some semen at the crime scene. What can I say? I love forensics. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, Watson, how about this week you solve the crime and I'll ask all the stupid fucking questions. <laughs> <laughs> this week on The Bill, an unlikely suspect, someone who could act. <laughs> <laughs> the bloods have come back from the lab, but the crypts are held up in traffic. <laughs> I'm so sorry for your loss, Mrs. Trump. Now, firstly, can you think of anyone who didn't have a motive to do this? <laughs> These were his movements just before he was killed. <gasps> you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... <laughs> Things you didn't hear at the Olympics. And that's a world record from Usain Bolt, 9.5 in one night! <laughs> <laughs> I've just come out of the diving pool. Look at the colour of my legs. <laughs> Look at that masterful control of his javelin. He really is the best streaker we've had all year. <laughs> 
Well, this is the pommel horse, and that plaintive neigh is the horse they are pommeling. <laughs> Time for the next fight now. He uh, floats like a butterfly, he stings like a bee. He's got a black belt, he's got five black belts. Okay, he's a wasp. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news, Ryan Lochte has tested positive for being a twat. <laughs> Oscar Pistorius has jumped the gun, and for that, he'll only get six years. <laughs> well, a nearly perfect execution there, but not quite as perfect as the one he'll receive when he returns to North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> On likely lines from a children's book. <laughs> Mr Stubborn wouldn't leave. He was the elected leader of the Labour Party. <laughs> I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow you, Keith Vaz. <laughs> As Noddy looked at his new friends, Rampant Rabbit and Linda the Love Egg, he realised he was in a very different kind of toy town. <laughs> and the beautiful woman was cursed to sleep for a hundred years. And that's your defence, is it, Mr Cosby? <laughs> She didn't do this. Don't boo her. Huh? <laughs> I'm Paddington Bear from Peru, said Paddington. And if you show me where the toilet is, I'll poo out this condom of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's the absolutely horrific follow-up to Netflix and Chill, Swallows and Amazons. <laughs> And was there a happy ending? Well, the prince did love massage parlours. <laughs> I will never tell you my name. You will have to guess my name, said Rumpelstiltskin, really holding up the queue at Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> From under the bridge came the voice of the troll. Where? Well, women can't be Ghostbusters, send. <laughs> Every day, Jack and Jill have to walk up a hill to fetch just one pail of water. <laughs> but for just five pounds a month... <laughs> oh, it wasn't a giant peach after all, thought James, as he watched the big friendly giant put on his swimming trunks. <laughs> in the cupboard. I think he's hiding from you, Kip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, come on. That's unfair. <laughs> I've been in this cupboard for bloody ages. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is things you wouldn't hear on a quiz show. You've already used your 50-50 to narrow down the options to A, in, or B, out. Mr Cameron, are you sure you want to ask the audience? <laughs> <laughs> so the final round on OAP quiz is sudden death. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Eggheads. Well, we couldn't call it smug pricks, could we? <laughs> Welcome to Tipping Point, for people who are too thick to follow the chase. <laughs> <laughs> Name? Keith Vaz. I mean, Jim. <laughs> Occupation? MP. I mean, washing machine salesman! <laughs> well, that was the banker, and he says he thinks you're going to accept this deal, because in his box is your wife. <laughs> Well, today it's Kelly Brook and Joey Essex versus Stevens Hawking and Fry. This is fucking pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Things you'd never read in the Bible. <laughs> Eve took the apple. Bollocks, she said. It hasn't got a headphone jack. <laughs> Jesus handed out cans of Dr Pepper and said, Drink this in remembrance of me. That's right. My full name is Dr. Jesus Pepper. 
people who enjoyed this book also enjoyed the Quran and the Torah. <laughs> There was stress in the Garden of Eden. Adam wanted to leave, but Eve had voted remain. <laughs> <laughs> this book has been rated 18 due to graphic violence, moderate threat and homophobia. <laughs> and so it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, and Noah said, next year we holiday abroad. <laughs> <laughs> The next topic is... Lines you wouldn't hear in a James Bond film. <laughs> ah, Mr Bond. Welcome to this mandatory course on sexual harassment in the workplace. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, the name's Bond. Uh, it's not actually 007, they're zeros. Otherwise, I'd be called, ooh, seven. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Bond, I'm very flattered by your advances, but uh, you are a complete stranger. You work for my enemy, and I am menstruating very heavily. <laughs> Bond, meet your children, 005, 003, and 0018 months. <laughs> you want my full name, of course. It's Bond. James, Skipton Building Society, fixed rate... One year, Bond. <laughs> <laughs> so another gadget, Bond. Uh, this is a way of distracting your opponents. Some light-up trainers for no reason. <laughs> Easter Bond, I have one question for you. Does this testicle look swollen? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bond, we just want to check that you understand how to use the new equipment. You know you can swipe left, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is the easiest fight on top of a train I've ever had. <laughs> Thank you, Southern Rail. <laughs> I've got a girlfriend, no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely small ads. Hello, my name's Ads. <laughs> <laughs> For sale, one tent. Please contact the BBC. <laughs> yeah. Genuine single man looking for a relationship. Call this number. If my wife answers, hang up. <laughs> Free to good home. Fucking printer. <laughs> Do you want a hard-working plumber for a reasonable rate? Then you shouldn't have voted for Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> have you lost a ginger cat? Check the top of Donald Trump's head. <laughs> Phone to hear my talk about my reaction to eating a South African bishop. Oh, 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 822. <laughs> Respectable middle-aged lady would like to meet gentlemen for cosy nights in, country walks theatre visits, an occasional eye-popping anal. <laughs> OK. The next topic is... Things you wouldn't hear on a TV cookery show. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nigella Lawson, and before I bake any cake, I like to chop my flour into lines. <laughs> See, that's rising nicely. It does that every time I think about how much money Channel 4 are going to pay me. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Can't Cook, Won't Cook. Today we won't be making anything. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> ah. 
So, if you want to bone a chicken, what you need to do, take it on a couple of dates and then... <laughs> Invite it back, put on some romantic music, and let nature take its course. <laughs> there is a, there is a bit of a problem on this week's food and drink. I've I've finished all of it. <laughs> Hello, it's Nigella Lawson here again. I'm just going to say the word spatchcock for no reason. <laughs> Spatchcock. <laughs> Anyone can make this. You can't, Beatrice. Sorry, you can't beat rice. Let's just go home. Yeah, let's just go home. Welcome. Welcome to Great Indian Bake Off. I'm Paul Bollywood. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on Crime Watch. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, then keep your mouth shut, stitches, get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> A relative paid tribute to the victim who sadly died in the blaze. He said, he was the kind of guy that just lights up a room. <laughs> Studies have discovered that the majority of murderers are men. So what should we be doing? Should, how can we support female murderers? Should we be subsidising childcare? <laughs> <laughs> the suspect defecated on Boris Johnson's doorstep. Witnesses describe the man as an absolute legend. <laughs> No crime watch tonight, but reruns of Top of the Pops 2 are on BBC4 now, so just... <laughs> and now, as a bit of fun, we go to the blooper reel. Give me all your honey! I mean, money! <laughs> <laughs> According to police, there were wet footprints leading across the bedroom carpet. Because one of us doesn't know what a bath mat is! <laughs> <laughs> the murderer said she did it because he made so many jokes about me on Mock the Week and I couldn't hack it anymore. <laughs> we well, you know like greeting cards are about four quid, don't they? But if you put them in the self-service, there's no weight on them, so don't... Hello, welcome to Crime... <laughs> OK, the next topic is... On likely lines from a fantasy film. <laughs> but the ring was lost. Frodo looked up. This rectal exam had gone badly wrong. <laughs> I was Gandalf the Grey. But now, after only three washes. <laughs> Hufflepuff? Oh, great, I'm getting bullied. <laughs> I've been bitten by some radioactive cordroy. That means I'm going to become James Acaster Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Alice. This is Sunderland. <laughs> It's an absolute bloodbath. It's literally a lion in a wardrobe. I cannot <laughs> emphasize that enough. Kill the witch. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what's that? The film's gone on for nine hours and they don't know what you're doing anymore, so you just get an army of the undead to save the day. Fucking turn it in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that round. The point's going to end. You and James. <laughs> <laughs>